The Flare Network it finally launched, but in observation mode. Yesterday, July 11th, seems like they've gotten the ball rolling. And can we finally expect our Spark tokens to be distributed? Well, starting to look like it. We're going to take a look at what the heck is observation mode. And you're listening to Crypto Files. Remember, if you guys end up liking the content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Well, I didn't really care for it, but today I logged in and it looks like the Flare Twitter account went ahead and tweeted this yesterday. A final audit of the token distribution smart contract code is taking place. Once the audit is successfully completed around July 11th, the Genesis event can occur. Upon validating the Genesis block, Flare Network will enter observation mode. So the big question, did it enter observation mode? Yes, it actually did. And what the heck is observation mode? Well, we're going to take a look at that. But here's the following tweet that says, At Genesis, the Flare Foundation will operate all network validators. This is very important. So at the moment, they've launched the, the, you know, the network and the Flare Foundation is controlling every single validator on the network. And so every node that's validating transactions is actually being validated by the Flare Foundation. And remember, that's really not the point of a blockchain technology. We want the validators to be decentralized. So how can we really trust a network that has a central entity that's validating all of the transactions? Well, let's take a look. By the end of the observation mode, Flare Foundation will have less than 33% of the validation power below the threshold for the foundation to control the network in any way, making the network properly decentralized. And that's what observation mode really means. It's a time of period where the network is, you know, they've gone ahead and launched it and they're just observing and making sure that they can onboard more validators that are not belonging to the Flare Foundation that will ultimately help validate transactions on the network. Now, by doing this and finally doing the airdrop after the Flare Foundation doesn't control more than 33% of the validation power, then you can say that the network is truly decentralized. And that's what's going on at the moment. Um, it says upon exiting observation mode, the initial token distribution of 15% would take place and I think that's when we're gonna go ahead and receive our spark tokens it is at this point that self custody token recipients will be able to access and use their tokens and that exchanges can distribute the tokens to their users so if you have a self custody wallet um, and you had uh, participated in the snapshot that was taken in the year 2020 way back in December um, then you will have custody of your spark tokens if you participated with a qualifying exchange such as Binance or Coinbase they will release those tokens to those exchanges and then they will go ahead and distribute those to the users. So you probably want to keep an eye out for any news in regards to exchanges distributing the Spark tokens after um, the Flare Network um, e exits the observation mode. And just remember, as soon as it exits observation mode, then they'll distribute the 15%. So let's take a look at the rest of the rollout. And here's a quick um, Google on FTSOs because FTSOs are what are needed to be onboarded onto the Flare network in order for them not to hold the validation power. So here's what it says. A little talked about feature of the Flare networks is the Flare Time Series Oracle. It's the heartbeat of the network outputting various token pair prices such as XRP and Spark Token, which is FLR. Um, it's outputting the price. Uh, Flare, networks need, uh, Flare Networks needs data from outside of its own network, specifically price data of various token pairs. And so these FTSOs need to be onboarded in order for them to serve as validators. Twice eight weeks until that point at which sufficient validation power has passed to external validators such as um, that of the Flare Foundation is no longer in control of the network, no more than 33% as we said. Then they'll look into the public token distribution event and the further distribution. So 
Upon exiting observation mode, the initial token distribution of 15% will take place. It is at this point that the self-custody token recipients will be able to access and use their tokens and that exchanges can distribute the tokens to their users. And so let's take a look at the rollout here and what does it mean and how is voting going to take place? Well, we can see here that 75% of the initial 15% token distribution is completed. That doesn't mean that you're going to receive 75% of the initial 15% um, percent distribution. It means that it is required for 75% of the initial 15% distribution to be distributed to the owners of those tokens in order for there to be a governance update on the token distribution that'll be uh, for the rest of the tokens so it's a bit confusing i thought i was seeing conflicting documentation here because of what it said here but let's let's take a look here so upon observation mode again the initial token distribution of 15 percent will take place we know that and then in order for the vote to take place it says the vote will take place on the flare network at the earlier event where at least 75 percent of the initial distribution is capable of voting or six months from the public token distribution have elapsed some of the language here is a bit weird but um it just means that at least 75 percent of the initial distribution has to have the capability of voting on how the remainder of the distribution for the spark tokens will be distributed for the future but after it exits observation mode we will all receive our initial token distribution which is 15 percent of whatever you held during the snapshot remember it's a one-to-one -one basis from xrp during the snapshot so if you had 10,000 xrps that means you will receive 10,000 spark tokens over uh, a series of, of uh, you know over the distribution timeline but um, after observation mode only 15 percent i don't think i've ever said 15 percent so many times in my life <laughs> but i thought i'd make a quick video and update you guys let me know what you guys think it looks like we're finally gonna get our spark tokens leave comments let, hit the like button if you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel until next time have a good one